buy a designer bag on the street, you know you're getting a fake. Buy medicines through certain online pharmacies, and what you don't know can hurt you. And back to talk about this dangerous trend is Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always great to be here. And counterfeit drugs are a health hazard. And in part, they're a health hazard because sometimes they're really difficult to spot. So, for example, our most counterfeited drug is this little blue pill. So we're going to put you to the test. Okay. Let's see if you can take a look at these and tell which one is real and which one is the fake. Well, probably what I would do is give them to Dr. Orden to try out. <laughs> and then he'll report back to me, but... I would have no clue. Right. Sometimes it is literally impossible to tell the difference unless you send them away to a laboratory to get them tested. Sometimes these counterfeits lack the active pharmaceutical ingredient. That's a part of the medicine that makes it work. It can have the wrong amount in it or a different ingredient. So at best, it can make them ineffective, and at worst, it can make them deadly. Here to share some of the details of this illegal world of counterfeit drugs is Pfizer Chief Global Security Officer, John Clark, and your security team does a lot to try to prevent these from getting in the hands of consumers. We absolutely do. In the United States, we have like former FBI agents and former executives and agents from the Department of Homeland Security, like myself. Um, we work with law enforcement around the world and assist them in taking down the counterfeiting organizations. Well, it's a true threat. We even have, I think, some footage here of a yes. drug bust going on. Yes, so the drug bust in South America, this was a manufacturing facility. Now you see there is boric acid, which is an insecticide, kills cockroaches, but was being used in this facility to manufacture as an ingredient. And this is the, um, the awfully filthy pill press, which is not uncommon in a manufacturing center that's illegal, where they were making the pills. If that video didn't get you, take a look at this. These are some of the things we have found in counterfeit medicines. Brick dust and other poisonous substances um, lead paint, for example. And another thing, counterfeiters often use sheetrock dust in order to press the pills and hold them together. None of these, of course, are good for your health, which is, of course, why you try to bust these before they reach the hand of the consumer. Absolutely. And one ingredient not up there is actually floor wax, which the counterfeiters will actually use as the last stage of the manufacturer to put a sheen on a pill to make it really look authentic. They don't have to worry about FDA oversight or good manufacturing practices. They have no concern about the health consequences of the counterfeits. It's really to fool the patient and get their money. And in contrast, this is what it should look like with good practices and FDA oversight. And as you see, this is a sterile environment. The employees had headdresses, gloves, and sterile clothing on. So this is how you want it done. Now, counterfeit medicines have been found in up to 120 different countries. Pfizer, working with law enforcement, has been able to prevent over 171 million counterfeit dosages from reaching our patients. What are some tips in terms of buying online, using online pharmacies? If you go online to purchase a prescription medicine and the site says you don't need a prescription, go to another site. A lot of them have logos that'll say this has been certified by uh, such and such of a, you know, an agency. Logos can be counterfeited, so they're not absolutely a guarantee that the site is authentic. One other red flag or point to consider, if, if you're looking at a site that's suspicious and you're not quite certain you want to buy the medicine, think also about if you're giving them your credit card information because you could easily be buying counterfeit medicines and having your ID stolen at the same time. So if you're using an online pharmacy, how do you verify that it's legit? When you receive your prescription, you should check both the package and the product. And the things you want to check for are color, texture, smell, and you want to take a look at the package and see if there's any evidence of tampering. And if it seems uh, different or suspicious or odd to you, you should notify um, either your pharmacist, the manufacturer of the medicine, or the FDA MedWatch program. And you know, online pharmacies, we get it. It's convenient, well, absolutely. Um, it's anonymous, and it's fine to buy your medicines online. The issue is to make sure that it is a reputable, licensed pharmacy or another reliable source. And so is there a way to know it's licensed? Is there a certain licensure that, that online pharmacies should have? Actually, there is help there. There is a site um, by the National Association of Board of 
pharmacies. Okay. NABP.net is the site, and on there is a list of approved sites for online buying. And of course, there's more information about counterfeits and other important topics on GetHealthyStayHealthy.com. And as always, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. If you're not getting the anticipated response from a particular medicine or you have any other concerns, you can also visit thedoctorstv.com. John, thank you for being with us. Dr. Hall, always a pleasure. Stick around. We'll be right back.